Right till you die, baby, you got the range I watch you grow, baby, I like the change Stuck with me now like a permanent stain Like a permanent stain I go for you, baby, girl, can you blame me? You took the beat Hey, y'all, what's up? I know it's been a little minute, but um, I was getting ready to make some lip scrubs and I decided to film it just to kind of show you guys what I do. Um, I have my little table set up here and I have pretty much everything I need. I've already um, disinfected and sanitized my area. I'm gonna put some hand sanitizer on. Right. And so I have a few ingredients here I thought about just all adding together. But first I'm gonna start off with the basics. For my um, lip scrubs, I usually use um, grapeseed oil and coconut oil. I don't have any coconut oil with me today. I have to go get some more. So I'm just gonna be using the uh, grapeseed oil today. And um, I always add organic honey. Um, honey is really, really good for the lips and it's a good exfoliant, which I didn't know until I looked it up. But yeah, I add honey to my um, lip scrubs as well. And since I have the idea for this brown sugar type of lip scrub, I just got some ingredients that I thought would work well together. So of course I have my, um, my brown sugar here. I have some imitation vanilla flavor. I have some cinnamon here. And I also have some cinnamon flavoring oil. You can get these flavoring oils from um, Amazon. I will link this one below. It's all different kind of uh, combinations and things that you can um, purchase. I have a lot of them which I've pretty much used. When I went through my stash a while ago, I found two. So this is some um, blueberry and raspberry flavoring oil that I had extra. So I might, you know, do something with that. I don't know, maybe make like a mixed berry or some type of lip scrub. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to use the cinnamon oil with this. And I also use uh, food coloring uh, when I'm coloring my lip scrubs because you want your lip scrubs to be safe and all natural just in case some um, gets, you know, in your mouth. You don't want it to harm you. And you can actually eat my lip scrubs because they are all natural. So with this one, I don't think I'm going to be needing any food coloring because I'm going for like the you know, the whole brown sugar type of look. So I don't think I'm gonna be using these, but I just got them for the video just to show you what I use. So basically all you need is some type of um, oil, your honey, your sugar, and your um, food coloring, but I won't be using the, the food coloring today. So I got my little container here. I'm gonna use this container just to mix everything up. When I get done with it, I'm gonna put it in this little I think this is like an eight ounce container with the lid. It's kind of airtight. And this is what I store a lot of things in. And this is also what I store my wholesale in. If you would like me to make any type of wholesale lip scrub or wholesale lip gloss, I put them in these containers right here. I will put my link for all of my um, social media platforms and I will put my email down as well if anybody would like to email me about wholesale. And I got these from Amazon as well, and I'll, I'll have a link in the um, description. All right, brown sugar has this kind of soft type of texture, if you know what I mean. And white sugar seems to be a little coarser. And I mean, you don't want it too rough, but at the same time, when you're trying to take off um, that skin cells from your lips, you need something that's gonna you know, kind of get in there and get it off. So, I don't know, I'm contemplating now if I wanna add some white sugar to this. I only have um, six of my uh, containers left. I have to order some more. I got these from Amazon as well. I will link these below. Um, so I don't wanna make too much. If I'm not mistaken, I wanna say these are 20 grams, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think they're 10. I want to say they're 20, but I'll have it below. Okay, y'all. So I got a little bit of um, white sugar here. And I'm just going to add a little bit in here. I hope it don't really throw my color off too much. Like I said, I wasn't um, 
planning on using that type of food coloring, but I have some just in a spoon. Hopefully you guys can see this. Just gonna mix it together a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. And this is just for kind of color and smell. I might call this cinnamon roll, maybe. And a little bit of my vanilla. I think I'm just gonna use just like a, um, just like maybe a cap. And this is just for, you know, kind of smell. Okay. And this is just like some imitation of vanilla flavoring that I got from the dollar store. Now I'm going to add um, some of my grapeseed oil. And as you can see, I'm not using exact measurements. It's kind of just, you know, eyeballing it. Now I will say this from me um, making lip scrubs before. Um, you want enough oil in it to where it is, you know, um, hydrating your lips as you're scrubbing your lips. But you also kind of want to watch and be careful with uh, how much oil you put in it for when you put it in your container. One mistake that I've made in the past is that it's too much oil in it and it leaks out unless it's set up like this. But, you know, sometimes, especially when you're packaging it, you know, your package may turn or it may flip over and you don't want a gooey, sticky mess when your um, customer finally gets it in the mail. So um, that's one mistake that I've made in the past. So um, instead of putting a whole lot of oil in it at one time, I kind of try to take my time and just kind of um, build it up. This looks pretty good, what y'all think? And I'm gonna also add my uh, honey now. And I'm using the raw and unfiltered Louisiana honey. I got this from um, Walmart. It really, it kind of smells like fireball, you know, like the, the liquor fireball or like the, what is the name of the gum? Is it Big Red? The cinnamon gum? That's kind of what it, what it smells like. I'm gonna put the whole thing in there. It's only 0.125 ounces. And depending on what flavor you're looking for in these, they can get kind of expensive too, y'all. I can't remember how much I paid for this two pack, but um, I'll have it in the description below. And it also comes, a lot of these comes in like um, sets to where they'll send you like maybe 10, 12. It's, diff it's different little things you can get off of Amazon. It has a lot of sellers that sell them. But depending on what you're trying to get, it can get very expensive. So just keep that in mind. Okay, this is how it came out a brown sugar lip scrub i'll um put one in the container just so you guys can see i'll usually use um like a knife to do this because it's easier like a little plastic knife or i have like some little small um special like things but i know it's in here somewhere okay now look at that that is my brown sugar lip scrub i'm actually almost out of my i think i'm using the lemonade lip scrub right now i'm actually almost out so i think i'm gonna keep this one for myself and try it out I also will be coming out with um, 
some lip kits. Um, there'll be a lot more information about that on my uh, Instagram. I have um, rose hip lip oils, and I also have brushes um, for my lip scrubs that will help with that. I got some of these, which are like um, brushes that you just can kind of dip your lip scrub in and then scrub your lips like that. It really, really comes in handy, and I really love those. Comes in a lot of colors. So I'm gonna be putting together um, some kits to where um, you can get a lip scrub, a lip oil, and a lip brush. Uh, but just stay tuned for that. I'll have all my social media uh, handles and everything below. I have a Etsy shop as well. I'll have that link below so you guys can uh, shop with me. Um, I pretty much got everything stocked up. Um, I think this is the last of anything that I have to make. Um, I already made my lip glosses. I didn't film that, but um, just let me know if you guys would like to see how I make um, my lip glosses and I can kind of show you guys maybe with some of the ones that I ran out of. I can kind of just remake a batch just to show you how I do that. Um, but with my brand, I sell lip scrubs, lip oils, uh, lip glosses. I have um, matte liquid lipsticks. I have uh, glitter mixes. Um, I have uh, earrings and accessories. My earrings is not on my Etsy shop yet. I will be uploading those this week, so stay tuned for that. And also, I might film myself mixing my glitters. I buy uh, wholesale glitters from other companies and sell them as my own. And I also make my own uh, chunky glitter mixes. When I looked up um, making glitter or mixing glitter on YouTube, I didn't find a lot of different um, videos on it. So I might make a video just to kind of show how I do and just kind of give a, a couple of tips of doing it, of what I've learned and some of the mistakes I've made from doing it. So just let me know if you guys would want to see that. I'll gladly do it. But yeah, this is my video for how I make my lip scrubs. It's very, very easy. Um, if you would like to shop with me, just click um, the link below that I will have in the description box for my Etsy shop. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Tell me how you kiss me, what you had to eat. Then you stop, then you stop, then you stop. Girl, I keep you tank full, and you never want it. Then you stop, then you stop.